Ethiopia's ruling party, the Prosperity Party, was declared winner of last month's national elections in a landslide victory. The party won 410 seats out of 436 contested in the federal parliament, and the election, which was postponed twice due to the COVID-19 pandemic and logistical issues, was likely peaceful, but opposition parties decried harassment and intimidation. Here is the latest. The National Electoral Board of Ethiopia has already declared Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's Prosperity Party the winner of the six general elections of the nation. The party won 410 out of the 436 seats of parliament. People now expect the elected leadership to deliver on all fronts, including peace, economic growth, education and more. As the youth of the nation, we support Prosperity Party 100% and would like to see all kinds of changes for the party, especially in making Ethiopia a prosperous nation in Africa and the world. We expect them to finish the construction of our Grand Dam and generate power. I hope we will maintain unity. What we expect from the Prosperity Party is addressing the skyrocketing prices on everyday items. People are being seriously affected by the ever-soaring prices. We elected a party believing that it will address all these issues. I want the winning party to look at the youth of this country. Most of us are unemployed and we want to change that status as soon as possible. Over the next five years, Abi's party has already set up plans to transform the nation. What is known as homegrown economic reform is said to take the country's economy to the next level by focusing on the mining, agriculture, industrial sectors, as well as the energy sector. This is, of course, alongside the Prime Minister's Green Legacy Initiative of planting billions of tree seedlings every year. But the nation also prides itself for holding what the authorities have called the first free and fair election of the decades of failed polls. The head of the Ethiopian National Electoral Board says the nation has achieved the formation of an independent electoral institution. Above and beyond everything, all of our stakeholders have learned a lot because they have passed through this election process with us. They have learned how to accept our decisions, even if they were not convinced. There were no shortcuts to this. This is how we are supposed to build an independent institution for the nation. Many things were new to us, but all is now behind us, and I would like to acknowledge the efforts of stakeholders for working with us and walking the talk with us for the country to see free and fair elections. Still, an opposition boycott, the war in northern region of Tigray, Ethnic violence and logistical challenges in some areas overshadowed the election. Voting did not take place in three of Ethiopia's ten regions. The Electoral Board says it will stage elections in the remaining areas next September. <laughs>